study mid-ocean ridges. Mid-ocean ridges, like the seams of a baseball, hold our plates together in a lot of ways. But as the seams of a baseball can rip apart, so does a mid-ocean ridge. There are actually regions where new crust is created as plates are coming apart. New magma is generated at these regions and creates a lot of earthquakes in that process. While a lot of seismologists like to study large earthquakes and very damaging ones, I study the other end of the spectrum. I study very, very tiny earthquakes, which allow us to understand the movement of magma in these systems, as well as um, how the plumbing of these regions work. I grew up in Florida, where I became very interested in water and how the tides work and the beach erosion we see and how water can drive different activities of our planet. And in this way, when we look at mid-ocean ridges way below the seafloor, we put down ocean bottom seismometers or OBSs to capture these earthquake activities. In particular, what I study is how tides affect micro-earthquakes or these little tiny earthquakes on the very bottom of the seafloor. What we observe is that these tides actually trigger or make the earthquake occur sooner than it normally would by just regular means. We know more about space, and that even includes deep space, than we do about our oceans, which cover over 70% of our planet. What I love about being a marine geologist is that, like Cortez and Magellan, I too get to be an ocean explorer and explore all the different facets of our ocean seafloor. In fact, I really enjoy learning about plate tectonics and what makes our planet work.